I'm Mark Kenyon, Senior Instructor here at the St. Louis Guru Garage. And today we want to talk about how ride height affects our alignment angles. We have a 2004 Mercury Sable on our alignment rack and you can see here that the rear camber is negative outside of spec. What we want to do is we want to go around to the back of the vehicle and we're going to use our swing jack in order to raise this vehicle up to its original ride height or factory specified ride height and we'll watch our camber go more positive. Basically, we're gonna simulate what a new set of springs would do for this vehicle. All right, now we've positioned our swing jack underneath the vehicle, we can raise the vehicle to the simulated ride height. In order to find the specification for the ride height, we're gonna to go to our wheel alignment spec guide. In the case of this vehicle right here, the correct ride height would be 27 and 7 16 Measuring it right now, we're at 26 in 7 16 so we're actually an inch low. So at this point we'll raise the vehicle right there. Now we're at 27 and 7 16 Our correct ride height, we'll check the monitor and see that our camber is now within the specification as far as what the manufacturer recommends. So the repair to this vehicle would be a new set of springs. Or more tech tips like this, Check out the links below or go to our YouTube channel.